So now, just because that intro really didn't tell you much about this vehicle, this is the Ram 2, Canadian-built M4A5 medium tank that should be a heavy tank, but because it versus Germany 75, let's just call it a medium tank. This thing has a British gun, 57 millimeter, a six pounder, Ordnance Quick Fire Mark III, the same on the Cromwell 57. So great reload, great penetration for the battle rating, poor accuracy. accuracy. So it's kind of a catch 20. So you kind of have to get inside of like 500 meters to really make this gun work. And at a thousand, you know, that you're playing with uh, a paintball ball. This thing has absurd armor for the battle rating, probably the best in the game with just the. With some layouts, 88 millimeters sloped at 66. Yeah, what in the world were they thinking? No idea. They should have carried this on the, throughout the whole vehicle. They don't need this boob turret here. These are the weak spots. 50 millimeter hatch and this uh, this cupola boob, what do you want to call it? And as you can see, we have enacted uh, rule number four. Bushes are a must to cover our weak spots. Now, first in Germany, okay. If, if you have the chance to verse the Russians in this thing, you're going to have a field day. They're going to have to get lucky, get right through here. You know, all you got to do is keep moving around, moving your turret. They're probably not going to be able to do that too well. Uh, but we're not going to be versing only the Russians. It's very rare you get a you know, American versus Russian battle. It's going to be the German and Russian country campaign military. The good thing is that when we verse a German t or a Russian tank, they're not going to be able to kill us. It's going to be difficult to kill them. And then if we verse the German tanks, it's easy to kill them with our gun and vice versa. So it's 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 balance. It would just be more fun to have a nice Arma Meta versus the German 70 or the um the Russian 76 millimeters. Without further ado, guys, here we go. Okay. Well, uh guys, here we go. Welcome to the game. Look at this. Why the why why is Japan over here just what there's like oh <laughs> without Japan it would be an imbalanced game. Look at this. Look at this diarrhea setup of vehicles. One one of my biggest things with uh with War Thunder is all the all the copy pasta vehicles. Not even China, but just like the M10 on like or or the 17 pounder. Or the M10, whatever it is, on like three different nations. Okay, wish me luck here. This is going to be a tough game. Versing Germany and Russia at this battle rating is, is, is not going to be a pretty thing to do. Okay, enemy left for still. Gosh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing that, man? I'm freaking out right now. You don't need to do that, Smeagol. This guy's going to get killed, though. I know it. Okay, almost in position. Okay, we got a KV-1 over here. Okay, good, no hit. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, we can't pen him at all right now. Let's get our armor corrected. Okay, nice bounce there. Good, gunner's out. Only, only the gunner, though. The shrapnel's going to the tank compartment. Only the gunner's out. You gotta get him, Krami. You're dead. Look, look at this free bush he's using right now. This is pretty good. Oop, bad hit. D d does that guy have you-know-what? Loader, good. I'm gonna get killed from the, the rear, I think, soon. Can't get through that little thing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. <sighs> it's okay. We're going to still do things here. Whoa. What was that? Holy cow, that was funny. 
Okay, we're we're in position still. We're gonna try to approach the KV-1 at a different position. Oh, oh my gosh, our, is, is this really what's happening to our team right now? I don't I don't know how I'm playing so well in the open right here. This is not a good position. Gunner transmission, good. Other guy needs to go away. Sorry, that took way too long. I think I was just playing whack-a-mole. Okay, everything's going okay here. Let's take a left. I think we've given our team some a bit of light to get back to Charlie. Okay, let's just let's just stay easy here. This KV-1 is probably freaking out, and I don't blame him at all. Oh, it's another one here. You think we have the time to flank around to the left and then hit the KV? We, we've got the reload rate, but do we have... We've got his weak spot now. Golly. That was a battle and a half right there. We almost got messed up by the, the speedy boy. Is that an enemy? No, okay, we're free and correct. Oh man, first in the Germans and the Russians, this battle rating is difficult. That sounded cool, whatever that was. Okay, almost almost 10 kills here, guys. Oh, Jesus. Almost 10 kills. That's kind of where I wanted to hit, but. We want to make sure his gun's out of action so he can't just wake up and. Like that. Okay, okay, we pen that one for some reason. There's somebody else over here, I think. Oh, yeah, I see his little gun. Let's, let's be sneaky right now. Sneaky. Look how sneaky I am. Oh man. Who's this? Oh, bad shot. Get him in for. Ah, oh, we got him though. Left side. Oh, okay. There was just a uh, Swedish thing that went to go die. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a nice victory for us. I, I would say. That's an enemy vehicle. Yeah, I see it. It's like right here. I think a Panzer four, I think. Yeah, he's shooting. Look at these bushies. Is this him? That is him. Yep. <laughs> engine shot. Really lucky engine shot there. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, versing that, that KV-1 was probably the best situation possible. There's no way of him getting through unless he, like, shoots through that little small slit. Sorry, I just, um... I just have PTSD of versing the Germans and Russians at the same time. You, you, you don't take them for granted at all. You can't. You can't. If you do that, you'll just get run over. Welcome back. We're in our proper attire now. So the only way that we can really die is getting shot by 
All of these guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I? It, it, it's okay. It's just the War Thunder curse. Hey, if I'm playing anti-air, no planes. Hey, if I'm playing a heavy tank, heat fin stabilized. Hey, if I'm playing uh, a plane, there's anti-air everywhere. It's a curse. All right, let's see what's over here. We got some good depression. <laughs> Yo, guys, 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 comment the depression comments. Let's see it. This does not seem right at all. I'm going to explode soon. When do I self-destruct? Okay, clear so far. Bravo's a bad, bad place. There was an enemy down here. I saw... At the same time, if there's like four or five lined up... Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, someone, somebody. T-34. There you go. Good. Scare him back in. Thank you. Is that somebody? So, if there's... Guys, so... Okay. All right, all right. If there's four people here, we're going to have a ball. If there's one that's going to be boring and over-risky... Okay, we're in a good a good slot in position. This guy's probably hearing me. I'm gonna call artillery here to mask my push. The sound of my uh, engine. Was that one? Okay, yeah, that that's a good one. Wait for another one. I hear them following, falling. Come on. All right, that's good. Hit one, only one spot though. That's not as much as I thought would be over here. Okay, they already pushed out. Okay, we gotta be extremely careful here. I'm gonna get up on that KV-1 Bravo. This guy's not to be messed with at all. Right there's where I want. Oh, that feels good. Risky playing here. Can we look into the right? We might be able to get another kill at Alpha. Okay, we've got one over here. Looks like a, looks like a. I'm not entirely sure. Right here, he might pop out. Oh, they all just got into cover at perfect times. There's apparently two over here that are bouncing shells nicely. We gotta take out this Japanese tank over here and then we can push around. Got an anti-air to our right as well. Mm. Thank gosh. Thank gosh. No, does, does that thing have extra side armor at all? I just played it, but... Okay. We're gonna have to deal with that Japanese tank. What the... Oh my god, that was a bush the whole time? Guys, that does not look like a bush. Look at this thing. That thing right there looks like an M15 or something. But it's a... Gosh, it's a bush! Okay, wish me luck. We're going to go try to find this Japanese tank here. I am so... Okay, and he's dead. <laughs> I love that. The, the, the Chaffee just comes in and he's like, I got your back, brother. Okay, and we're up. What was that? Whose friendly smoke was that? M24 popping smoke? There's that famous bush tank right there. Dude. Be, be, be careful of that thing, guys. Wow, that was behind us, that smoke sound. It sounded like it was right in front of us. 
Okay, Panzer IV. We're going to get ready for this. Maybe a little more of a... Okay, and he goes away just like that. By our... our gosh. By our friendly Swede. This is a much different pace than last game. Okay, we're on. We're moving on to Bravo. They've got two... Whoa! Should we stay here? Where was that? Just casually reversing. Is, it, is that him? Yeah, we're out. We're out. I, th I think we did bounce. The Panzer 4 H got our um, our speed up there. This Crusader should be able to take him down from the side once he over pushes. Or once he pushes. I think it's one of my favorite things about War Thunder. Where was this guy? Alright, this guy's going to win the game for his team. I'm just going to go snipe him. But what I was going to say, I, I think the biggest thing about War Thunder that I like is that the ability that the enemy doesn't know you're there. That's what really gets me going. Like, except that Panzer Ford that exploded me. It's just the sneaky part about this game that really draws me in. Yeah, I think, I think this is where he got killed or something. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the same spot and see what happens. Maybe he'll pop out of a, a hidey hole. Ah! Ooh, a Stug killed a Cromwell. Oh, there's the Stug. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, that's the guy we saw earlier. <laughs> Well, should have, should have done capture the flag. Should have done capture the flag. See, this this is this is why you do capture the flag, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This thing rocks with the 57 millimeter and the armor can back up some pretty lucky bounces and you know keep you in the fight. Just 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 the issue is that you you're pretty much always going to verse um, Germany there. Like, <laughs> nice, nice turret. It's just it's just it's, it's just it's just perfect. It's perfectly designed like that. It's wonderful. Now, sure, there are some rare games where you do versus Russia, and if you have this thing lined up when that happens, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for hanging out and spending your time here. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.